Hello traders and welcome to Stock Goodies Chart School. Multicollinear arity is a statistical term for a problem many chartists have. By whether knowingly or unknowingly, they are using too many indicators of the same type that give the same kind of information. Now here's a table that describes the three different categories for technical indicators. The first one is momentum, the second one is trend, and the third category is volume. And as a free member at StockCharts.com, it's very important that you choose only one of your favorite indicators from category one, one from category two, and one from category three. Now to see it in action, let's go ahead and load up three of the momentum indicators that I like best, which are the CCI, Williams Percent R, and Stochastics, to see multicollinear arity in action. So on this chart of Yahoo, I'm going to load up three lower indicators. Okay, the first one is the CCI, Commodity Channel Index. Then we'll go for full stochastics, And the third one was Williams Percent R. Click Update. And as you can see, they look almost identical. Here's a M shape. Here's a dip below the, the lower line, minus 80 on Williams Percent R. And then the 20 line on Stochastics and below the minus 100 line on the CCI and they all started rising at the same time. They all topped at the same time. They all fell through the center line at the same time. They all dipped below the bottom line and ran straight almost to the top line here. Okay, CCI was a little weak on this one. But basically, these three indicators are telling you the exact same thing. And since you're only allowed to have three lower indicators, it makes no sense to use three technical indicators that will give you the same kind of information. So let's go ahead and load up three, my three favorites from each of the three categories. Okay, I have a trading system based on the CCI, so that's definitely going to be one. Moving averages are actually overlays, which you put up over the candlesticks. Okay. MACD is definitely one of my favorites. So that will be the next one. And as far as volume and knowing if there's more buying or selling going on, I would have to choose accumulation distribution. So let's go ahead and load up those three indicators on this chart. I chose the Commodity Channel Index, the MACD, and accumulation distribution. And when I click update, you now have three lower indicators from the three different categories giving you three different types of information. Okay, my CCI buy signal happened right here when the CCI dipped below minus 100 and then crossed back up through it. It was confirmed a little later by the MACD when it dipped below zero and then crossed up through the red signal line and then up through zero and the histogram, the blue bars, were from below zero up through the zero line into positive territory. And accumulation was strong on this huge volume breakout into blue sky territory. Okay, now CCI will tell you oversold or overbought. MACD will tell you the trend and the strength of the trend. Accumulation distribution will tell you there were much more buyers and right now it is much higher than where it was back there. MACD is positive above zero crossing up through the red signal line with the histogram above zero and 
the ECCI is in an uptick approaching overbought territory, but in this area it's just whipsawing as it attempts to break above resistance here and here. But as I mentioned last week in a video lesson that it will need more volume than what it had at these peaks in order to break above them. And right now it failed on that breakout because of the low volume here. Volume is declining. So it's going to have a real hard time getting up there unless it picks up. And the general rule is if it breaks below support here, here, and here at this trend line, volume will increase as the price falls hard. Now it's entirely up to you as to which one of these indicators from each category you use. Now let me show you a good way to go about doing this. In this series of lessons I've given you one technical indicator per lesson. And let me show you on a chart how you go about studying one technical indicator using three different instances of it in three different settings. For example, let's say you'd like to study the MACD. So let's go ahead and load it up three different times in three different time frames. Now the standard setting is 12, 26, 9. So at the top one here, let's cut that in half. That would be 6, 13, 9. And let's double it for this instance here, which would be 24, 52, 9. Click Update. And here you have the MACD. Now, if you recall, my CCI buy signal came in this area, and I said the MACD was much later when the MACD crossed up through the signal line and then crossed up through zero. It would have had me getting in here right before the breakout into blue sky territory on volume, whereas I would have been here closer to the first, between the first and second low. Okay, if you enter anywhere here, you know you must exit if it closes below the close on this day because the chart will surely fall when it loses support right here. But as it turned out, it was a nice little double bottom that broke above neckline resistance on this day. And that's just about where the quicker setting on the MACD did its crossover above the signal line and then above zero. And as you can see, the much longer term MACD is smoother. It never dipped below the zero line. The histogram did, but the MACD stayed above zero this entire time, saying it was still bullish. And then the crossover right here was just before the big volume breakout into blue sky territory. Now let's say you wanted to study the RSI. The standard look back period is 14 days. Right here I have it cut in half at 7 and down here I have it set at double at 28. Now I'm a very short term trader. So for me I look for dips below the 30 line to tell me that RSI is oversold and then the buy signal comes when it crosses back up through the 30 line. That is Dow theory, when to buy the Dow. And it would have had me in right here at the first low. Whereas the standard parameter did not give a buy signal by dipping below 30 and I don't see any use at all for the RSI 28 even as a long term investor. So I have chosen RSI 7 and the shorter setting on the MACD as my favorite settings for those two indicators because of my trading strategy being very short term. So refer to this table often so that you don't fall into the multi-collinearity trap. Be sure to use only one indicator from each of these three categories for best results. So if I had to choose my top three overlays and my favorite top three lower indicators, this is what I choose as a short-term trader for the most part. I choose the 5 and 15 simple moving averages and Bollinger Bands. I also choose the CCI set at the standard period of 20. The fast MACD setting I showed you that is half of the normal setting 
of 1226.9 at 613.9 and accumulation distribution. This concludes the 50 lessons on the basics of technical analysis. There will be a number of extra videos uploaded soon that show you a little bit more advanced strategies. Some will show me trading in real time doing day trades. Others will show you how to find good stocks. Another two will show you how to play the gaps at the opening bell, plus a number of other subjects. So I hope that you find these lessons have been educational and that they help you to become a much more successful trader.